Hey guys, welcome back to the Game of the Year week with the discussions. I'm here with Hilda, you know her, and Viet, our social media manager, to talk about best art in the game this year. Guys, what what was super pretty for you, ladies first? Ori in the Blind Forest, super pretty, yes. super amazing. Um, it kind of blew me away, I guess. Yeah. So that that would make it best art because it was mainly the art and the music that made it awesome for me. Mm -hmm. So it was actually one of the titles that made me uh, consider, hey, if there, if I was gonna get an Xbox One for anything, that would be one of them. But I just need more reasons. Um, and it came out on PC. Too. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was gonna say. Yeah, but the thing is, I didn't have a very powerful PC, and I was thinking, you know, if I'm gonna get anything, maybe a new console. I don't know. Mm. So, well, it, that was more my mindset, but it yeah. does look gorgeous. It's amazing, and it made me rage a lot. But I mean, the <laughs> game, it just looked beautiful, yeah, so I didn't it, care. Didn't it, it, didn't it even make you cry? Well, no. well, it's it's like I think it's like those one of those games that uh, it's just you're just so immersed in the moment, just because uh, also uh, for me it was also because of the music as mm -hmm. well. Like the art style is really amazing, and the music just is so fitting, and uh, the moments that. Yeah, there, there were some moments that made you kind of, you know, get, get this block in your throat. But uh, overall, yeah, I also had my rage moments uh, playing Ori in the Bind Forest. Really? Yes, I did. Because, you know, it, it's a puzzle game and sometimes solving puzzles doesn't really go the way you want to. And sometimes you can't find stuff. So then mm. you're just like, ah, where is it? Or what am I doing wrong? And then you like miss this one little ledge or this one little uh, space where it's like a secret room mm -hmm. where you get stuff and you're like, Really? Mm -hmm. yeah, it feels like every year there's going to be a platform game with amazing graphics art. So this year it was Or in a Blind Forest. Last year was Child of Light, which look, also had a really nice uh, art style. Uh, what do you think next year is going to be? I'm thinking Unravel. I am super excited for Unravel. I think that's going to be it, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just like the platform, you can do so many things with platformers and mm -hmm. you can make it look amazing. So I think Unravel could could be a contender for that, yeah. yeah. There were also a lot of uh, platformers that looked amazing on PSN uh, yeah. this year that I normally not would not have checked out if it weren't for PS Plus. But like Tesla Grad was surprisingly I love gorgeous. that game. It looks exactly. amazing. It's, it's a really good game. Like I, I have that game on my Wii U mm -hmm. and I am yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, platformers I are definitely uh, one of the best places to find really beautiful game art. Yeah. In. Yeah. I, I think like I think like what what started all of this because before I wasn't really into the platform gaming business, but like uh, I, I did play Trine. Do you know mm -hmm. Trine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I played that and I think it was nice, but it wasn't really like oh amazing for me. But then Little Big Planet came. And that was that was the game that really started for me this whole platform thing because I thought oh it's really nice you know you can customize stuff and the style is so unique as well mm -hmm. and I mean it's not necessarily uh, beautiful but it's like more like oh it's a new idea new concept and you can do a lot of things with it and then yeah then I started playing more platformers and uh, yeah so for me also the best art style for this year would have to be Ori in the Blind Forest as well. All right. Yeah. Well I have to disagree for <clears throat> because for as beautiful as Orient the Blind Forest is, mine's uh, Transformers Devastation. <laughs> <laughs> because, <laughs> it, like I've said this before, it is very nostalgia fueled. So it's like nostalgia is giving me rose tinted glasses. But uh, I've never I've never really seen CG animation look. Uh, like this in a in a 3D game before, mm -hmm. not as well like the Bandai Namco games, like all the anime games they have, very good cell shading. But here they actually managed to get that 80s feel of the 80s cartoon, and it's really colorful as well, which makes it like Ooh, it's yeah. pretty yeah. colors, <laughs> yeah, <A> color explosion <laughs> yeah. in your face, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's yeah. very memorable yeah. after you uh, you know recover from your you know epilepsy attack from all the bright colors, yeah. But uh, just lots look at of that. Bright, it's th like lots of watching the colors. cartoon. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that is true. And I, I love, I love the slow mo moments as well. Mm -hmm. It's just like over the top, and it's amazing. Yeah, well, platinum games. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they, uh, they did, did it really well. There, there were there are plenty of uh, great looking games this year, uh, but uh, they're all we're, so, it's. They're they're all games that met expectations, like Metal Gear Solid Five. Yeah, exactly. You know, we knew, you know, had to had to look great on this. Well, Metal there's Gear one Gen. for me that was actually like a close contender. Yeah. 
Yoshi's Woolly World. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Because I am, uh, I like um, crafty stuff, mm -hmm. and this game had a lot of like crochet and yarn and everything, and that is what I really like. And it looked exactly like it should look, so I was mm -hmm. very excited about that. And I thought it was really nicely made. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that was it. Was a close one for me. Yeah, I thought it was great. It's very surprising how well that looked mm -hmm. on, on the Wii U too, yeah. considering the the hardware it, it's running on, mm -hmm. the the engine they yeah, they use for those graphics. I think it started off with uh, the Kirby game. Yeah. 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 And the, then the, the, they, the they evolved yeah. into, you know, into this. It's like. Amazing. Well, you had that Kirby yarn game. What is no, it? The, the clay. The clay. No, game. And you also mm -hmm. had this yarn game, but that was on the normal Wii, and that was way less amazing. Less yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. it was just. It, I didn't feel the yarn, and <laughs> when I was playing Yoshi's Woolly World, yeah, I was like, yes, that, that, I can you, make you that. Feel, yeah, feel, I have yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just think it's really, yeah. really good. Yeah, no, I haven't, I haven't checked it out yet. Maybe you I You should. Will. It's I amazing. Awesome. <laughs> I'm obsessed with yeah. it. It's, uh, no, you, know, you can say a lot about the Wii U, but it's like yeah. they, really, they really know how to uh, work on the look of Is yeah. that a Mario? Yeah, it's, right? Mar it's Mario. It's an amiibo. Yoshi. Like, how cool is that? You can use your amiibo <laughs> to make a yarn version of Yoshi. Like, <laughs> how awesome is that? And I'm sure we can buy it all yeah. on Etsy or something. Yeah. <laughs> I Most can make likely. it for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's my birthday next month. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just so you know. Um, okay, well, guys, let us, in, let us know in the comments below what your uh, best art style was this year in a game. Was it, you know, the super shiny 3D stuff that you see in games like, you know, Metal Gear Solid V or the huge backdrop of Fallout 4? I don't know. Let, let us know in the comments below. Uh, stay tuned for the next uh, topic discussion. Yeah. 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 What's up, guys? I took my jacket off because Hild is here and it's hot. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs>